So first thing you got to do to do floating photography or levitation with a fast shutter speed is make some hash browns and wear a superhero shirt because you're going to be doing things that are impossible. So first off, I'm a total amateur at all this stuff, so it is what it is. So I'm learning like everybody else. But first, you gotta have a love sack. That big old bean bag, that thing is like virtually indestructible. We've had it for 12 years now. It's been like, this thing's like 12 years old. And we throw kids at it, jump on it. I mean, you could probably take a, a six foot fall I mean, I'll hold my kids up to the ceiling and just dead drop them on that big pillow. Granted, there's several feet of fluff. So, if you're going to be all acrobatic, do it in a safe way. I don't want to be re responsible for encouraging old people to uh, do things. And I probably do more than I should. But, that's alright. I'm crazy. Anyway, I'm still learning all the aperture lighting, all that stuff. So, on the first set of pictures where it's dark, I kept adding light. Um, I mean, it's indoors and I don't have anything professional. I'm turning on lights, opening up windows, uh, but it's a little bit grainy. Then I switched to the 50 millimeter lens to bring in more light and uh, it, it looks a little better. But I think if I was outside or added even more light, it'd probably look uh, even better or more crisp or we just need someone who's a professional <laughs> to, to make it look that much better. And maybe if I was further away and a little bit smaller, you know, it'd probably look a little better too, but you gotta deal with what you got. That is uh, my two cents on it. Just mess around with shutter speed. I know there's like a dual picture one. You take a picture and then you take a picture with you in it and you Photoshop and remove stuff. You know, um, I haven't done that or anything that yet, but it just gives you a side-by-side -side comparison of doing shutter speed or video freeze frame, you can see the difference uh, of the blur and uh, the quality of things you can and can't do, or maybe I just need to um, learn more and uh, improve things. But, but this is what happens when your kids are sick on Sunday. I decided to uh, take a little free time to goof around while they're, <laughs> they're laying in bed. They're not really laying in bed. I bet they're faking it a little bit, but... Um, because I was like, hey, let's go to church. And they're like, oh, I'm sick. I'm sick. You know, all right, get in bed. So, and now I hear banging. Better go see what that is. <laughs> 